new goodies from Google, more money for alien hunting, and a new way to make salt water utterly delicious. I'm Emma B, and welcome to Geek Beat. Google just announced two new devices, the new Chromecast 2 and Chromecast Audio. For $35, Google's new Chromecast 2 gets a new form factor with all new integrated HDMI cable that incorporates three wireless antennas. Google claims this allows Chromecast to continuously choose whichever antenna is getting the best signal from whatever device you're using to send the signal. Now the new Chromecast Audio looks super interesting. It also costs $35, but promises to turn any set of powered speakers into internet connected smart ones. I'm not gonna call it a Sonos killer just yet, but Sonos definitely just got a wake up call and from Google. By the end of the year, Chromecast Audio is supposed to offer support for multi-room playback. So I guess that means you'll be able to select as many set of speakers as you like and fling them around all over the house at the same time. The best part is that once you've sent the source to Chromecast, it offloads that task from your phone, much in the same way that Sonos controller does. Oh, and the multi-room thing is also coming to Chromecast too. I hope that you really, really like targeted online advertising because Google is launching a new tool called Customer Match that lets advertisers use a list of email address to target specific users across Google services. So for example, Google is going to remember the retailers you've shopped with or sites that you've created a profile with, upload your emails to a customer match, and then while you're watching YouTube, searching Google or checking Gmail, you'll see ads that are targeted right at you. Well, they won't be targeted directly at you individually because Google is going to anonymize people within the pool of customer match addresses for privacy protection. But at least advertisers will know they are reaching a very specific audience. If you're fans of aliens, you're going to be happy about this next story because not long ago, the Russian billionaire Yuri Milner pledged 100 million to fund new research programs spread across several academic institutions, including the University of California, Berkeley's SETI Research Center. That's the largest cash gift in SETI's history. Meanwhile, Andrew Simeon, the director of SETI Research Center, just briefed Congress in a House Science Committee hearing about the need for money, astrophysics students, and generally just aliens, I guess. Personally, I'm kind of 50-50 on the whole alien thing. On one hand, I don't exactly want to find the ones from Starship Troopers. But on the other hand, I wouldn't mind getting my own group. Researchers at Alexandria University in Egypt have created a new desalination technology that's low cost, can be made in local labs with abundant materials, and can make drinkable water in just minutes. It uses a technique called pervaporation, which filters the water through synthetic membranes to remove large particles, then heats the water until it evaporates. Finally, the steam is condensed into clean, drinkable water. The most impressive thing is that the process doesn't require any electricity at all, unlike just about every other desalination technique. That's good for underdeveloped locations that don't have any consistent power supply, like third world nations or Detroit. The researchers say the technique can also be applied to different types of contamination like sewage and dirt. So if it's as cheap and effective as they claim, it might just become part of every municipality's clean water process. So that's it for today's show. How about a big fat thumbs up and a share if you enjoyed it. Also, do me a favor and head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash patron and pledge a couple bucks to help us out and keep the show going, won't ya? Your support makes all the difference. I'm Emma B and see you next time.